Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you and tell you how to draw a perfect heart. This will be a super duper easy peasy tutorial so let's get right into the video. All that you need to draw a perfectly shaped heart is a ruler, a pencil, a, uh, I was going to call this a protractor, but it's actually a math compass, I apologize, and a marker to outline at the end. You can also use a pencil crayon or a crayon or anything else, just something to separate it from the pencil that you're going to be using to draw the rough outline. So let's get right into the video. First and foremost, you're going to make a square, and to make a square, you need four equally uh, equal length sides. So for equal length sides, you can decide whatever length you want to choose. Um, just to keep this nice and simple, I will choose, uh, let's say I'll choose a number like six centimeters. So I'm going to start off at the bottom. I'm going to draw a six centimeter line. Okay. So I'm going to draw a six centimeter line. Try and keep it as uh, like as nice and evenly uh, space as possible. And these lines on the side have to be on a 90 degree angle. You can go ahead and use a uh, protractor if you want to get a perfect 90, but I'm just going to measure six centimeters just to keep it nice and simple. Okay, as long as they're all six centimeters, you should be okay. So I'm going to measure six centimeters over here and I'm trying to keep them as, as nice and straight as possible. Obviously, if I wanted to make it absolutely perfect, I would indeed get a, uh, get a, get a uh, protractor and I would get a perfect 90 degree angle, but I am doing this to try and make the video relatively quick. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to not um, get them at a perfect 90. I mean, it's pretty close. I would say it's almost 90, but obviously there are pro probably tiny imperfections, but if you want to make it absolutely perfect, you want to go ahead and use a protract protractor just like this to get a perfect 90 on each side, okay? Once you've drawn your square, you're going to make a halfway marking halfway through each of the sides. So each of these is six centimeters. So I'm going to go and mark at the th three centimeter marking. Okay. Now, obviously you would do this in nice light pencil. Um, I'm just doing it dark so you can see on the video, but in reality, you're going to be erasing this. So the lighter that you do this, the easier that it will be to actually, um, to erase it at the end. So I'm going to make a marking over here on the three centimeter mark as well. And what I have now is I have these markings halfway through each side. I'm just going to make them a little bit more, a little bit more aggressive so that you can sort of see a little bit better. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take the sheet of paper. We're going to rotate it so that you have sort of a diamond shape um, in front of you. So we rotated it. Now we have a diamond shape in front of us and we are going to use our um, compass, our math compass for the next step. Now what we want to do is essentially we want to draw an arc. Okay, you want to get your pencil and your math compass nice and tightly. Um, if you have one that has an adjustment that you can hold it in place, that's even better. This one doesn't, but if you have something that can hold it at a certain angle, that's even better. So what we're going to do is we're going to place our point on the halfway mark on the top left corner, right over here. Okay, and then we're going to get our pencil to be lined up with that corner right over there. So you can see we have our point on the halfway mark and the pencil right there. And we're going to create um, sort of an arc that ends up lining up like that, okay? And if you made all of your sides the proper length and stuff and you drew your halfway points correctly, it should line up perfectly. Um, bear with me because I'm doing this while looking through a camera screen, so it is difficult, and I'm trying not to move the math compass, so I'm just going to actually adjust my hand like this and uh, continue like that. There we go, okay? So there's our first shape. We're gonna do the same thing with the other shape. Now, like I said, this square isn't absolutely perfect, so that's why it's gonna, there's gonna be the tiniest bit of imperfection. But if you measure and you make perfectly 90 degree angles, then you should have no problem at all getting a perfect end result, okay? As you can see, usually I would do this with one hand, but because, like I said, of the situation, I'm gonna end up doing it with two hands like that. So that one actually moved. I'm going to try that one more time. I do apologize. That's why it's good to outline it. Um, that one did move indeed. And like I said, it's not a perfect square. So uh, we're going to try that one more time. This is a, one more time. It has to go a little bit wider, I believe. There we go. It looks like it should be good now. Okay. We're going to go ahead and make one more uh, little curvature right here. Let's just get it like that. There we go. Perfect. So right now we have our two curves and that's why you do it in pencil because it, I mean if I had the right tools with a lockable um, Angle it would be a little bit easier and if I measured everything absolutely perfectly it would be easier But I'm trying to keep this video relatively fast. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our permanent marker We're gonna outline this line right here. You can obviously use a ruler too to make it absolutely perfect You know absolutely straight so I'll line this line right here 
and then you can follow that curve around. So I'm gonna follow it around. You can actually use the math compass to do this as well with the marker, but I'm just gonna do it like this. It ends up looking really good anyways. Same thing over here. I'm going to get a ruler, draw a straight line like this. You're gonna end up with a perfectly symmetrical, and I'm gonna follow my the second line that I made. The first one was a little bit of an error. You saw it was too, it was too, too much towards the inside. So I'm gonna follow the second line that I made. Oops, there we go. There we go. What you're gonna end up with is a perfectly symmetrical heart that looks absolutely awesome. And depending on the size of your box, it's gonna look a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller. That all depends on the size of your box, right? And that's basically it. That is how to make a perfect heart. As you can see, it's perfectly um, symmetrical. We have a perfect 90 degree angle. Over here, if I did the box absolutely perfectly, we would have a perfect 90 degree angle over here. It just looks absolutely perfect. That's it, if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.